Just a young girl with a quick fuse. I was uptight, wanna let loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follow up. Woody from Woody's Real Time Fishing. Today I'll be doing a catch and cook on sheep's head. So yeah, I know some of y'all been asked for a catch and cook, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I caught, and I'm gonna show you how I cook it. I may not fillet it all or cut it open because YouTube doesn't like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk it out, talk it through, and I'm gonna do this, show y'all as much as I can. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, here I'm doing it outside because I don't want my kitchen uh, smell like fish. But uh, here I have my scaling tool, have my knife, and I have one sheep's head that I'm going to cook here for dinner. So, that I caught after work today. That's all I need tonight. So, first I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scaler. I'm going to go ahead and scale this bad boy and rinse them off. So stay tuned for that. Let me do that real quick. All right, now I finished scaling the fish. All the scales are off of them. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the head off right here. I'm gonna cut the head off. And I'm going to basically split them in the middle because I'm going to be baking this uh, sheep's head. I'm gonna split them in the middle. Well, one side of them. And so it can uh, open up. Like basically butterfly sheep's head. And that's what I'm gonna do. So let me go ahead and rinse them off and cut them open and everything. Then I'll show y'all after that. Y'all, so now I got my sheep's head all clean and prepared. Cut them and split them in half from the tutor. Went all the way up along the backbone. Spread them in half. And first I'm gonna season them with some uh, blackening season. Don't be stingy with it. Go ahead and put it on there. Put it on the outside as well, on both sides. Put it over. On the other side. And next, I'm going to be using my other seasoning which i forgot one moment please okay next i'll be using beer can chicken seasoning and i'm gonna do the same thing i did with the blackening season put on the outside and don't be stingy with it season it, season it up it won't be too salty and it won't you know taste salty at all matter of fact and make sure you put a the inside as well. Close it up. And put it on the outside. And if you want to, you can wrap it in foil if you want to, or you can leave it out that out like that. Um, I just, I'm gonna go ahead and cut slits in it so all the juices can get inside the meat. Okay, now as y'all can see, I got slits inside the meat on that side and on the other side. So now I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do, I got the oven preheated to 350, about 120 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them in there. It should be about, let me see, about an hour or so and let them bake. So stay, stay tuned for the finished product. Just checking on the fish. It looks like it's coming along pretty good. May not need to leave it in there for a whole hour. So I'm going to give it, it's like 43 minutes left. So about 15 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. Should be done. Because this is a not a real big sheep's head, but if it was a bigger sheep's head, it would need to be go in there longer. All right, y'all. The fish is now done. Season. And it is ready to eat. So in a minute, I'm going to get my taste tester. Let it cool down some, and he's going to try it out. And see what it tastes like. Slid it like this, the meat comes out. 
in uh, chunks like this. So, and it's easy to eat. My silly, God, can I finish talking before you eat it? What? It's hot. Oh. I told you it's hot. It's hot. Huh. Is it good? Uh-huh. Real good? Uh-huh. Who's the best cook in the house? Huh? Who's the best cook in the house? Um. Hmm. Who? You. Thank you. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Woody. And, um... I'm going to go ahead and get this sheep's head to try. I thought my son didn't like it because I thought he was about to spit my food out. But uh, it was just too hot for him at the time because I just took it out of the oven. So so he liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Pretty good. Not real salty. It's just right. A nice texture to it so i think i did pretty good so that must you hear my son in the background playing his video games or whatever but uh this is witty until next time i'll talk to y'all later